right, welcome back. Continuing today, what I'm going to do is test fit for the thousandth time. So, this is what I done yesterday. Made that clearance on the subframe to clear the oil pan. So, let's get this all back on a cherry picker and put it in the bay. Look. Yeah, I really need some more of that lighting. I should probably put some right above here. There we go. Definitely wide enough. I gotta kind of center it, but yeah, that's the clearance. Far. Not much, but I think it's decent, at least for the sensors to fit there and to get that cool passage. But if that's where I was, I think I would be. Pretty happy. How's this angle? I think it's pretty good. Just need better lighting. Expression here. Perfect. Huh, I'm excited. That looks really nice. I think I could start uh, mocking up the mouse. This is definitely a good uh, resting position. I think this would be perfect. Let me check the uh, shifter position. And, huh, not too bad. Yeah, I'll center it just a tad bit. Which way? I'm gonna push it in. There you go. That looks definitely pretty center to me. Really good position. I think that looks really nice in the engine bay. Once I get the intake manifold and the header, and not really much accessories other than the uh, alternator the extra pulley i think that'd be it but the other dilemma is this kind of hard to tell i have these cardboard protecting the uh valve cover but the reason i'm doing it like this fender well the hood's here so it would have to clear Falco Road would have to clear this slope right there and just by doing that it's not looking too good it's definitely very very close I got these tools in the way very very close so I did a little bit of research today. Um, subframe spacers. Because one of the guys that I've seen in the middle of the swap, he relocated the steering rack forward, which I'm gonna have to do. He did quite a bit, I don't wanna go too far. But I also noticed he put subframe spacers also. So I don't wanna space it out too much. Cause I, you know, that's gonna start messing with things. 
I don't do as minimal as much. So I wanted to be able to clear just enough. So very minimal um, spacing of the subframe. I saw a kit from uh, Excessive, um, I believe for a 2JZ swap, which is probably, I guess the common one, and the uh, CX Racing kit. So CX Racing for the 2JZ, I'm guessing 1JZ also, swap, you have to do that. Um, especially being that long six cylinder, which is definitely way longer than this, um, it probably sits too high. So probably got the excessive one. I think that's a one inch space spacer, where the uh, six racing, I think it's like 1.25 or something like that. So again, I think it's probably close to an inch or maybe half an inch. So I just want to do it just enough. Um, and I believe. You know, spacers are spacers, so pretty simple. I believe this is one of the uh, stock studs, nut bolt studs that come at the bottom. I think you just replace that with a longer one and, you know, just space out the frame to the subframe. So, I think I did a good job yesterday cutting that subframe for clearance. Pretty darn close. So, I'm very happy with my progress. I'm gonna put on these. These are Hymne Racing 13B mounts. Um, I think these are polyurethane, or I'm pretty sure they're not Delrin, but you know, there's different hardness for, for these type of mounts. Um, I actually use this on my uh, hardtop coupe, whatever, non-convertible um, FC with a 13B uh, turbo. And I like them, you know, they're, it's a straight through bolt system. I'll show you, which most people know if you run solid or racing type mounts, but you get the point. This bolt goes straight through, meaning that the engine vibration transfers through the bolt, being somewhat solid to the frame and to the body. So meaning that, you know, you'll feel the engine vibration. On my other car, I bought these expensive mounts from Australia, I don't even know the brand, they were Noltec, I believe his name. It was uh, like a polyurethane, it was a blue mount, but it wasn't a straight through. So meaning that, you know, one through one side, had a metal frame, and then another stud through the other side. So getting that, it didn't have the straight through transfer um, and it did feel good, but I don't know, might be due to me, but on the side of where the turbo was, I was running open wastegate. So being as a plastic, plastic slash rubber mount, heat's gonna melt it. So it ended up separating and yeah, that could have been dangerous if it separated and the mount just, you know, not being connected, could have just fell, so. Let's see, let me put these mounts on and start uh, using cardboard to make some templates. Okay, now I was talking about the hood clearance. It does kind of angle like this, so kind of raise the trans out so it could kind of level out. It's still kind of hard to, to tell, but I think it's still very, very close. Maybe what I should do for the time being since I kind of have this um, hole in the hood, the happy hood, stingray hood, um, I wish the hole was kind of higher up that way. Because if that hole, which I believe is like around this vicinity, I wish it was like right here. So at least that hood isn't like completely wasted. You know, I mean, most people don't like hoods, hoodless or hoods with holes, but it's not like this is gonna be a daily driver, but you know, that might get me away from the subframe spacers. So I don't know. I should probably just take this off, test fit the hood and see what happens. Need some space.
really good deal. Um, Charlie, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, Moa. Looks like he's pretty wide known in the um, Honda K Series, probably B Series community. Find him on k28.org. But um, I got this semi gloss, mag blue, which you could probably see better now. Bell cover for I think 90 bucks, 100 bucks. Amazing price, though. I'm sure you'll find them if you're looking for a K Series. There's a lot of custom work, powder coat, and all that. So let's try to get this hit on. I think one of the main reasons why it's clearing is because since he cut this hole, the uh, skeleton frame underneath, he cut it off. So it's literally just this top layer um, the skeleton it is. So it doesn't have anything that really drops down. Look at that, that is. We might be in luck. Come on. I could push it down. It's, I can still have right there. I think that's where it's touching, but that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. I might be fine with the uh, no spacers. So that would be one extra hurdle to pass. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to skip it for now. One less thing to worry about, but that's so exciting. Exciting.